Okay, do you know what Newton's law is? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, Newton's first law is that an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Does anybody know Newton's second law? Oh my god, this is so boring. We should do something else. And are you serious? We have a test on Thursday. But we're seniors. It's second semester. We should have fun. Let's go find something to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about the third one? No clue. Yeah, yeah. Are they gonna drink? Do you guys want some? No, we're good. Are you sure you guys don't want some? No, we're good. Be careful, we do have school tomorrow. Doesn't matter. We still have time to sleep. Hey, let's get some music going. Give me Tina's phone. <laughs> okay, I can't study here. Let's go. Let's move somewhere else. Oh my god, can you believe how drunk they got last this night? It's ridiculous. We have school. We're gonna be late. We're gonna miss class. I'll leave a note on them. Oh, set an alarm on Anna's phone so that they wake up. A migraine. Oh, time for school. Yeah. No, no, I can't. My head hurts so bad. Oh. Just, just take a oh. it should help. Really? Wow. Hand it over after you're done. Oh man, that is killing. How are we gonna get to school? I can drive. My car is just. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't have that much. Slept off last night. Okay, wait. Yeah. Are you sure this will help? I mean, isn't it already helping? <sighs> Not just have a bit more. Okay. Don't take it all. It's fine. It's just so good. Come on, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling ready right for school. Anaheim Police, Cadet Salas. 
Hi, I need to report an accident. There's been a terrible accident. What's the address? It's out in front of Connolly School on Broadway. Two vehicles and blood and... Okay, I do have paramedics started. Okay, you're just passing by? Yes, I just came upon it and there's nobody here yet. So I don't know if somebody else has called in, but it just looks a mess. And okay, I we appreciate the call, ma'am. We do have uh, paramedics and PD in route. Thank you. The call. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And I'm Battalion 2, and I'm Engine 6, and I'm Truck 6, and I'm Care Ambulance 6. Respond to report a traffic accident with entrapment. TC Heavy Rescue, 316 Rose Bay Avenue, City of Anaheim. All units on one Charlie. Copy that. So you got one deceased patient and one patient being extricated by truck six. to the school? Uh, so I'm a senior and I started uh, freshman year, so um, four years. Okay, four, four, year, four years of going to the same school. Yeah. And you had difficulty finding the school this morning? I, I mean, I've only been driving for like two years, but yeah. Has the school moved since you started driving? No. Okay, same spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hi there. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel? Is anything hurting you right now? My right your right leg. Really quick, can you tell me what year it is? Okay, so she's, well it's 2018, but um, it's okay. I'm just gonna listen to your lung sounds, okay? Just breathe normally. I'm just gonna pinch your finger here, just gonna see. Okay, good cap refill. Is anything you heard here? No? Okay, how about your arms? Have you had anything to drink today? No. No? Okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah, Again, I'm really sorry if this hurts. Um, um, What's hurting? My, my, leg, my right leg. <laughs> Parents have been notified, so they'll be there too, okay? So uh, we're bringing in a 17-year-old uh, female who was involved in a two-vehicle TC. Uh, negative seatbelt marks. She does have an injury to the head with a uh, GCS of 14. All vitals are stable currently. Uh, our ITA to your facility is about five minutes. Hey guys, this 
This is a 17 year old female. She's in the two vehicle TC, negative airbag deployment. Uh, she's at GCS 13 right now, three, four, six. Uh, vitals are stable. She's a little tachycardic otherwise. Um, so we got her on the back where she is. She does have a uh, femur fracture right here, open femur fracture. So we got that splinted. So. What's your name? Can you open your eyes? I don't think your glass gal is 13. 18 gauge, right AC. The pupils are four. Uh, left's of four, right's of five, both unequal. Okay, she's got an open fracture there of her right femur. Uh, so we'll take a chest x-ray and a right femur series and uh, AP of the pelvis. We'll also do bilateral knees and uh, a right tibia. And then we'll get her to CT. Why don't we go ahead and give her 50 grams of mannitol for the brain injury. And let's call anesthesia mannitol. to get her intubated. We'll need to get her fracture reduced. We better call Juan. I'll splint that, put some betadine on there, give her a gram of ANSA. 50 grams of mannitol up. She does not have good respiratory effort on her own, Dr. Davis. Her right pupil is now blown and non-reactive. No pulse with the Doppler. She probably has a superficial femoral artery injury there associated with that femoral fracture. Family, Hello, I'm Dr. Davis. Are you the parents of uh, oh, a patient here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you can see, she was involved in a motor vehicle accident. She has a very severe brain injury, and she has an open fracture here of the tibia, and also it looks like there of the tibia as well on that right lower extremity. Um, we're going to take her to the CAT scan to assess the severity of her brain injury. No. Has she had any previous surgeries? No. Is she currently on any medications? No. Allergic to any medicines that you're aware of? No. Okay. Is she be okay? So uh, right now we don't know the severity of her head injury. You know, based on our initial Glasgow coma scale, uh, I think she was okay at the scene, but she's uh, had a decrease in her level of consciousness here, so we're gonna need to get that CT scan to assess how bad that brain injury is, and also to check for any internal injuries. I love you, you're gonna be okay. I have to keep fighting. <laughs> CT's ready for us. Wanna hand me those bags, James? Track the movements of the eraser with your eyes without moving your head. You're going to walk nine steps on that line. Watch that eraser all the way in your nose. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Your arms are going to go down to your sides like mine are. Because you're driving under the age of 21 and I suspect that you've been drinking, you are required to submit to an investigative breath test. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Rest, in my opinion, you're driving while impaired, and alcohol while well, you're back in this collision. Just kind of going back and holding yourself down. Where, where are we going? Our uh, first stop is going to be at the uh, police station. We have a uh, temporary detention facility there.
swing your feet around. You're gonna put your feet on the ground. Lean forward, watch your head. I'll help guide you up. I'm sure at some point this morning you were aware that driving while you're impaired on alcohol mm -hmm. is an inherently dangerous and unlawful act. Yes, so this, this should not be coming as a surprise to you. Step through the door. We're gonna be going right up the stairs. There's a couple officers in the green uniforms waiting at the end of the hall. Sir, uh, what is she here for? She was involved in a uh, collision involving alcohol. Okay, any medical mental health problems? She says she wasn't injured in the collision. What's your name and date of birth? Uh, Amy, February, February 25th, uh, 2000. Have you done any alcohol or drugs today? I had uh, alcohol, alcohol. Are you an alcoholic or a drug addict? No. Are you on probation or parole? No. Okay, Amy, I'm going to be removing the handcuffs, okay? Turn around mm -hmm. and have a seat. Be careful, it's kind of low. You can relax your hands, put them up front. All right, hand me those glasses. You have hair ties? Yeah. All right, remove them and place them inside the bin. Okay. Earrings? Yeah. Yes. Any other piercings that you know about? I uh, no. Take off your shirt. Your pinkies yeah. inside your mouth. Pull away. Open mouth wide. Your tongue up. All right. You're gonna put your pant legs above your knees. Uh, okay. Okay. You're gonna hand me your right shoe. What's what's gonna happen? I. You're gonna fingerprint you. I'm gonna book you. Okay. Uh, how long am I? How long am I gonna be here? I can I cannot give you a time, but. You'll be here for a few hours and then you're gonna get transported to Orange County Jail. All right, Amy, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna follow the yellow line, okay? Yeah. Hands behind your back. Yeah. Come, follow the yellow line. Be careful. Okay. Walking. Thanks. Follow the yellow line. Straight forward. Make a right. Okay. Step forward. You're gonna step in those two yellow shoe prints, okay? Okay. Step right there. You're gonna look at the camera. Come up, give me your right hand. Step to a little bit to the left. Leave your left hand behind your back. You're gonna walk this way. You're gonna go inside that holding cell. Okay. You're come on, I have a seat right there, okay? Uh, yeah. The phone, I, I, can call, I can call my parents, yeah. right? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Mom? I'm so sorry. There was a car accident. I I was a the police came. I was I was arrested. I'm I'm at this I'm at the station now. I, I don't know. I didn't mean it. it was it was an accident. I, I'm so sorry. Joanna was there was an ambulance and and the fire. It was there was no. I'm so sorry. No, the Aunt Anna. I'm, Anaheim Station. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay. I, I think I think Tina and I are okay, but Issa, Issa went to the hospital, and I don't I don't know about Joanna. Yes, I I love you too. Bye. Hi, are you Joanna's mom? Yes, I am. I'm Officer Fox with the California Highway Patrol. Your daughter has been involved in a serious traffic collision, and unfortunately, due to the injury, she has passed away. Um, she is here inside the emergency room. Um, you can uh, come inside and speak with the doctors and be able to see your daughter. Come here with me. Right this way.
All right, good afternoon. Your case is set this afternoon for what's called the arraignment. This is not the trial. I do not hear any evidence. In fact, I do not even hear your explanation or side of the case. This is simply the arraignment. The purpose of the arraignment is to advise you of your constitutional rights and to advise you of the charges against you. It appears you are charged in count one with second degree murder uh, related to a DUI accident. You're charged in count two with felony vehicular manslaughter, a lesser included offense of count one. You're also charged with felony drunk driving causing serious bodily injuries and it appears there were two other victims with minor injuries and those were charged as misdemeanor uh, driving under the influence with injuries. Because of the serious nature of these charges and in order to protect the public against you, on the murder charge I'm going to set bail in the amount of one million dollars. Uh, Deputy Hunter, take her away. Hello, my name is Officer Paul Fox with the California Highway Patrol. When you choose to drink or use drugs and drive a car, it is a selfish decision. When you get behind the wheel of a car and you're under the influence of alcohol or drugs, you're not only endangering your life, but the lives of your passengers and everyone else around you. I hope that for those who choose to drive under the influence, your consequence is only jail. But for so many people, consequence is death. Unfortunately, I've seen this tragic story too many times. I hope that I never have to see death associated with driving under the influence ever again. The reality of my statement is, it happens every 15 minutes. The choice is yours to make. Please choose to drive sober. Anaya Francesca Ibasco was killed on April 19, 2018. 14 years old, Anaya was killed as a result of an alcohol-related car accident. Born on July 5th, 2003 in Bellflower, California. Good morning. If I can have Brianna Hernandez please stand. Brianna was returning home from a birthday party when she was hit from behind by a suspected intoxicated motorist. Amy Nicole Jimenez, please stand. Amy was killed on April 19th, 2018. 17 years old, one month shy of her 18th birthday. Vanessa Araceli Maldonado, 17 years old, died on April 19th, 2018 as a result of injuries sustained in a motor vehicle collision involving a drunk driver. Vanessa was a senior at Cornelia Connolly School in Anaheim and a prospective student in Loyola Marymount University. Maya Nicole Ordonez was killed on April 19, 2018. She was 15 years old and a sophomore at Cornelia Connolly School in Anaheim. Maya was returning home from dance class when her car was hit by an intoxicated driver. Maya actively participated in school activities, including student government, cheer team, and dance club, and served as an ambassador. <laughs> 